Today's Wisdom Tree reported its quarterly numbers. Obviously, we have some great news that goes along with that. Beat the street, revenues on the rise, um, quarterly dividend stays, but how about $100 billion assets under management surpassing that? It is our great pleasure to have founder and CEO John O. Steinberg with us of Wisdom Tree. John O., congratulations on another great quarter and a third consecutive year of inflows into Wisdom Tree. You had your sights set on that $100 billion mark and uh, you did it. And it's so exciting for those who have watched you. Um, and on your call, I was reading through the transcript, John O, and you said, and now here's how we're going to get the next $100 billion. Uh, Tell me a little bit about how it feels to achieve that key milestone and some of the vision you have ahead for, what, for Wisdom Tree. Obviously, I'm very proud to um, achieve that as you know, founder and CEO of the company. Um, Wisdom Tree, a specialist in ETFs, always competing with the best of the best, Vanguard iShare. So to be able to grow against that kind of competition, the team at Wisdom Tree is extraordinary. And it really is a testament to our approach to product, which is proprietary, um, self-indexed, or first-to-market beta, and really investing in the business. So our solutions business, our tools, our models business, it's really been driving um, our flows. And it's really... It's a very gratifying time. When we have such a short period of time, it's so hard to encompass everything that Wisdom Tree is because when we think of ETFs, okay, great, but Wisdom Tree is so much more than that. Um, I'll start, you know, and I know cryptocurrencies and your, your app, your uh, Wisdom Tree Prime app, I want to talk about that. But really, I think it's monumental and, and most notable when we think about BTCW. Folks, this is the Bitcoin ETF of John O. Steinberg's Wisdom Tree. You came on with us as you were developing this and you got the okay and got the green light from the SEC. And this breaks history because now U.S. investors can have a chance at uh, the real price of Bitcoin. Tell me about that moment because obviously there was a lot of pushback with the SEC, but you were the first, among the first of these ETFs all on the same day. And it was exciting, right? Um, certainly it was not easy that the SEC, certainly you could say it's fair to say they were cautious about approving Bitcoin uh, ETPs. It's ironic because of the way they approved 11 in one day, they created a feeding frenzy for um, uh, Bitcoin ETPs. It's amazing that there are more Bitcoin ETPs in the U.S., then there are S&P 500 ETFs in the U.S. So it's, um, it launched very mature as an exposure, very good bullish long-term if you're uh, a Bitcoin enthusiast, a cryptocurrency enthusiast. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we're in for our, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal for investors, mainstream investors that didn't want to open up their own MetaMask wallet. This, uh, this normalizes their ability to invest in Bitcoin. Right. And, you know, as we see this and it becomes more normalized and as Bitcoin has been around each day that Bitcoin is around, I guess people have a little more trust in it. This year will be the halving. We got up to forty nine thousand. There are people who are calling for Bitcoin one hundred thousand. But you are giving the opportunity for U.S. investors to have a hand in this and and changing the landscape. And that being said, um, among some of the concepts and developments that you've been working on, John O, cryptocurrencies as an asset class, tokenization of which which you're a leader in that, and blockchain-enabled financial services. I know you have, I think, about 13 um, blockchain funds there. Tell me a little bit about this innovation, and that's part of the success of Wisdom Tree, being a little different and having that vision, right? So we really try to innovate, um, and that means trying to be early. So for the last five years, we've been asking, what could do to ETFs what ETFs did to mutual funds? And the answer really solidified around tokenization and blockchain-enabled finance. And so what's really exciting, Wisdom Tree is having great um, momentum in the core ETF business and with expanding margins, even while we're investing in the future. And 
The future really starts at the end of this quarter or the beginning of second quarter when Wisdom Tree Prime, our mobile app, um, goes national and we start marketing that new app, which will allow consumers to invest and save and pay with a convenience that's not yet been achieved by anyone else. So blockchain-enabled finance and tokenization will be the next driver of innovation for the decades to come, and it's exciting that we're ahead of all of our peers. So in this, it, it, congratulations for this app, the Wisdom Tree Prime app, and it's mainstreaming Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and in addition to that, you'll be able to do peer-to-peer -peer payments, and I think there are other things on there, right? Uh, money market funds and such, is that right? It's almost a whole entity in it's itself. A, it, yes, it is. It's its own ecosystem, and it will allow you to invest so we have treasuries, equities, money market funds. We've announced model portfolio exposures with um, Professor Siegel. So with one ticker from the investor, they get a, uh, a model-like experience. So we're competing with as a wallet with your bank for savings, with your broker, um, as well as with your RIA for your investment um, answer. So... Um, a lot of things are converging at once to offer savings, investing, and payments with greater control for yourself as the consumer, which is what drove success of ETFs, better functionality and better user experience. Right. I mean, the ETFs, when they finally became popular, surged because people got a taste of what an ETF really was, and it gave them that ability to have a wide array of, of investments. And what's interesting, and I'll ask you this, because in the environment we're in, where the S&P is at highs today, and you have these tech stocks taking off, uh, what do you tell folks when they ask you about your market outlook? I know you have so many products that can hedge, that can double down, that can diversify. But when someone just simply asks you about your outlook on this economy, or the consumer, or, or the Fed's moves, what do you say, Jono? Well, first of all, not knowing that actual portfolio, um, I think you have to fall back on the need for a diversified basket um, so that you can weather the short and the, and the long-term volatility at the market. Um, we, it doesn't seem as if rates are falling as fast as many in the market have um, anticipated. And so I think you have, um, you're going to continue to get a strong interest income from things like floating rate treasuries, short duration, very short duration, shortest duration government bonds, and then a diversified portfolio. Um, it has been a narrow market, though. Uh, seven sort of tech stocks have really driven the market. We wouldn't be surprised if you see a rotation into value. Small caps might have a play here. Um, so those are sort of the things that we're looking at at Wisdom Trick. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. So uh, we will continue to follow all of that and your Wisdom Tree Prime app, which will be expanding and going uh, nationwide. So I hope you'll come back and give us some updates at that time. And congratulations to you, the whole Wisdom Tree team, getting to that $100 billion assets under management, Mark, surpassing that and, um, and the endeavors going forward and really being a groundbreaker in the world of these spot Bitcoin ETFs. I mean, you go down in history for that. Um, a lot of exciting things that have happened for Wisdom Tree and many more to come. Good to see you, John O. Steinberg. Thank you so much of Wisdom Tree.